everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Sims Guides. My name is Taylor, the owner of UltimateSimsGuides.com and in today's video we are going to be talking about the secret society in The Sims 4 Discover University. But before we get started, I would just ask you guys to please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button if these are the kind of videos that you like to see. It's really helping me out to get these videos in the eyes of more people. So thank you so, so, so much for subscribing. So let's just jump right in to the secret society in The Sims 4 Discover University. So one of the big features of The Sims 4 Discover University is that there are a bunch of new organizations for your Sims to join. They could join a soccer team, an esports team, there's also things like the Spirit Core and the Debate Guild and all of those sorts of organizations and things for your Sims to do when they're not in class. However, there is also a new type of organization for your Sim to join, the Order of Enchantment, a secret society for students attending university in Brightchester. We first were introduced to the fact that there is a secret society in the Discover University trailer and I know that most players were super excited to find out how they worked. But before we get started, I really just want to say that this is littered with a lot of spoilers, so if you'd rather have an experience where you get to figure out how to do it on your own, definitely click off this video, watch something else, do something else, and go experience it all for yourself because I will be telling you exactly how to join the society, where to find them, and what to do. So the first thing we're going to talk about is where to find the Secret Society. So the Secret Society has meetings every single week in the neighborhood of Gibbs Hill, which is the middle section of Brightchester, in between both Fox Ray Institute and the University of Brightchester. You'll be able to find them next to the ruins that are located at the bottom left-hand corner of Gibbs Hill. So what you can do is you can go to the bar that's located in the bottom corner and then just walk right over. You'll only find them meeting after midnight and there's a weird circle rock formation that's on the ground with some plants around it and that's where they'll be hanging out. Now, if you go to these meetings and you aren't a member of the Secret Society, you're not going to really get anywhere with that. Um, they're not going to answer your questions, they'll all just kind of leave when you get there. <laughs> and you can try to talk to them, but it's not really going to do anything for you, so you have to go through other methods to join the Society. It used to be a lot of like making friends with people in the Secret Society in, pa in past Sims games, but this one is a little bit different. So, how to join the Secret Society? Um, becoming a member of the Secret Society is actually pretty easy in Discovery University. You don't even need to become friends with anybody, you just need to make a really great offering to the statue on your school's campus. So you can join if, whether you go to Foxbury or if you go to Ubright. The offering you make is really important, you can't just bring anything to the statue. Um, this won't allow you to join their ranks. So you can't bring like a moldy cheeseburger, it's just not going to work. An offering that works will give your sim a focused moodlet called Surreal Focus that lasts a few hours and this is how you know it's working. This moodlet will say that your sim has a mysteriously good feeling about that offering, almost as if he or she has somehow made someone somewhere very happy. The world feels a little more sparkly. If it doesn't work, you may see something like a focused moodlet saying academic success with a question mark, and that's a sign that you should try again. There is also one that says laser focus, and I really just see this as you're getting closer, but try again. <laughs> We found that a high quality baked good will work, which can be hard to find on campus since you don't have any access to ovens. Um, if you're living in a dorm, a lot of people around you may leave food, especially like cakes and weird cookies, like they just leave the weirdest food everywhere all the time. And sometimes these can be pretty high quality, so if you find one that's an excellent quality, then you can bring this and try to use that. You can also give a high quality collectible or harvestable, so any plants, um, but they have to be a really high value and high quality for you to enter the society. If your sim offers something of poor quality, they will get a tense moodlet, so you want to make sure that you don't do that, because being tense while you're in university, it just makes the whole process more complicated. Okay, so now that you have given your offering and gotten the necessary moodlet, you're going to have to wait a little while. The Secret Society will come to your Sims home or their dorm room, um, usually that night or the next night, and a pop-up will appear asking if you want to join. You have the option to either accept by clicking OK or to decline the offer to join their ranks by choosing No Thanks. You'll now be able to see all of their information, including when they meet in the Organizations panel in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. One way to learn more about the Secret Society is to do some research. So you're going to need to find information on the Secret Society, which you can use the research machines at the library. If you jump right in and try and research the local Secret Society straight out of the gate, you're going to get an error message saying something went wrong with your search, please try again or revise your query. You won't be able to actually find out information about the Secret Society until you're a member. So after you've made your offering and been taken by the Secret Society, you can research information about them so you can feel more knowledgeable about the things you're doing and the people you're associating yourself with. 
So when you do this research, you'll get to read some stories. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to read the entire story in this, but I think that it would be fun to have a little bit of Sims story time. So one of the stories that you're going to get is The End of an Era. In the Order of Enchantment's second year, their founder, Esther Mudgett, was speaking at a charity auction about the importance of using all natural ingredients for baking. Why she chose that discussion topic in the first place for this particular event is a separate mystery. Midway through this infamous speech, Mrs. Mudgett ab abruptly and dramatically ran off into the woods, leaving the auction goers baffled. It was later revealed internally among the society that she had overused and betrayed the sprites, seemingly ignoring their pleas for entertainment and starving them of the stuff they so craved, and all the while had been reaping the academic and social benefits they had bestowed upon her. It was her greed and ignorance that ultimately led to her tragic downfall. As legend has it, she's still out there, forever lost, chasing after errant darts of light, hair in a tangled mess, no combs in sight. Esther Mudgett's fate serves as a, rem a reminder to revere and respect the sprites lest you incur their wrath. So that story is a little bit of a warning about what you shouldn't do. So make sure that if you are in the secret society, you are entertaining those sprites because they might ruin your life. We also have another story called The Order's Origin. This one says, The sprites on which the Order of Enchantment's existence is based has been virtually undiscovered by humans until the turn of the century. A chance encounter with an energetic young scientist by the name of Esther Mudgett change, changed the face of history forever. Esther had been studying the pollination patterns of wild mushrooms and her research brought her to Gibbs Hill. This is where she encountered the most fascinating spiral configuration of fungi behind the castle rooms. Intrigued, she began to spend increasingly more of her time there to study. One afternoon, thanks for her polite new neighbors, she brought a slice of fresh fruit cake to the mushroom site. She set the cake on a nearby rock while she went about her work. Before long, she started to hear a peculiar whispering. She knew this sound was not human, so her instincts told her to crack a corny joke in the hopes of diffusing a bad situation. Apparently, the sprites had liked her joke, and they really liked her fruitcake. The disarmed sprites came out of hiding and allowed Esther to see them in their true twinkly form. They whispered wisecracks and the mysteries of the universe in her ears. Little did she know, this would be the start of a tender, though ill-fated relationship. So through these little stories that you do get to read by researching the Secret Society, you will get to learn more about the sprites and you really do understand that they love food and they love jokes and they just want to be entertained all the time, which we'll get into a little bit later. So there are meetings for the Secret Society. Each week they have two meetings that you should attend. Um, you don't really, you don't have to go, but you probably should because you know you are a member of this elite group now. These meetings are going to happen on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays and they happen from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. These events are known as a Sprite Celebration Ritual. At these events, you can just talk to your fellow members, you can offer things to the Sprites on that rock, and you know, just get to know people, because it's a really important part of being in the Order of the Enchantment. So when you become a member, you're now gonna be able to see Sprites around campus. These Sprites need you to make them happy, but it can get quite annoying, <laughs> but they can give you some good benefits. So once you're a member of the Secret Society, you're going to have these sprites visit you. They're very needy and can ruin your day if you ignore them, <laughs> but they will give you great mood that rewards if you make them happy. So when a sprite visitor appears, you'll see a notification that says, your sim is being visited by a sprite. Sprites love a good show, so make sure to entertain them with mischievous, funny, or romantic socials with other sims. A happy sprite is a generous sprite, and he certainly wouldn't want to be a bore. So when the sprite first appears, it's going to be silver and appear above your sim's head and fly around waiting to be entertained. <laughs> if you do enough of these socials in a short period of time, you're going to get a 12-hour moodlet, and it depends on, you know, what the sprite's feeling in that moment, what kind of moodlet you'll get. So an example of some of the moodlets that you can get, Loved by Sprites, which is a flirty plus three moodlet that lasts 12 hours, and says that your sim has been making the sprite so happy they've given him slash her a temporary boost in romantic prowess. Now might just be a good time for him to finally talk to that classmate he's been crushing on. There's also the inspired moodlet that says loved by sprites, inspired plus three, and it says the sprites are loving the attention that you've been giving them so much that they've given you a temporary gift of inspiration. For the time being, you'll make higher quality art and music and have the ability to gain creative skills faster. So this is definitely a really useful one, especially if you're in like the fine art degree or something like that where you need to be gaining these skills and need to be working. 
So during the time of this moodlet, the sprites are actually going to change color to mimic the color of that moodlet. So if they're feeling inspired, they'll be light blue. If you're feeling flirty, it'll be pink. However, if you fail to entertain these sprites, you'll see less desirable effects. If the, if the sprites are angry with you, they're going to give you a tense moodlet and it'll be hard for your sim to really do anything for a few hours. They attacked my sim for hours while he was trying to sleep, waking him up, him up numerous times. So I would try to put him to sleep. It was the middle of the night when the sprites came and when they got mad at me, and he, they would just like swarm him, wake him up, and he wouldn't be able to do anything. They genuinely, like if you don't entertain them, will ruin your day, which I think is really funny, but it can get so annoying. One of my favorite things is when you get new interactions for doing different things in the game. So when you attend a meeting of the Order of Enchantment, you'll be surrounded by other members of the Secret Society, and you'll be able to do some new interactions with them. And these will include things like ask reason for joining the Order of Enchantment, ask about the Order of Enchantment's mission, and ask how to make the sprites happy. Doing these interactions will give you some interesting information about the order and about the sprites, but it will show you that some members don't know if they should stay. You'll get a lot of, oh, I didn't know that this was the way it was going to be and things like that, and it really shows that being in the society can benefit you, but it can also really hinder you. In the society, there are three levels. You have the new member level, the seasoned member level, and the senior member level. Just joining the Sacred Society isn't really enough. You need to work through these levels and make the sprites happy and spend time at meetings with your fellow members. To level up in the Society, there are a number of tasks you can complete that show up in your organization's menu. These are things like offer a medal or harvest of wool or food or crystal at the Ritual Altar. The Ritual Altar is that rock in the middle of the rock formation beside the ruins in Gibbs Hill and also tending to the sprite's garden. You should also attend meetings and talk to the other members of the Order of Enchantment and this will help you level up as well because growing these relationships is important to being a member. So when you first join, you're going to be rank 1, which is new member. You enter into the society, you'll be given rank 1 order robes and order masks. You don't really get any new abilities other than being able to offer things to the sprites and be visited by the sprites and wear these new cool clothes. They are really fun to just wear even when your sim isn't at meetings to just walk around in. So the second rank is seasoned member. When your sim is a seasoned member of the Order of Enchantment, they will get brand new robes to wear, as well as the ability to perform a new interaction where they can do a sprite attack on other sims. So when the sprites are visiting you, you can make a target sim feel very tense by having the sprites attack them. And it's essentially the same kind of attacks that happen when you don't make the sprites happy. And this will make the other sim feel tense, and they might not like you very much for it. So just a warning. So the third rank of the Secret Society is the Senior Member rank. At this rank, you're going to be given a whole new set of robes, and you're also going to have the ability to summon the sprites whenever you want them, instead of them just appearing whenever they feel like it. Now, some people don't want to be a member of the Secret Society forever, however, there is one issue. I think that this is a once a member, forever a member type deal. Um, if your sim decides to leave the Secret Society, you can do this pretty easily in the organization's panel. However, when I did this, my sim was still visited by the sprites almost every day. So it's like one of those things that you join and then it's never over. <laughs> you really need to think hard and long about whether or not you want to dedicate your life to entertaining the sprites, especially if you plan on doing big things with your sims and you want to have a large family. They honestly might really get in the way. I do believe that there is a cheat that you can use to get rid of the fact that you were ever a member of the Secret Society. Um, I believe someone commented it on the article version of this, so I'm going to leave that in the description, the link to the article, and if I do have the cheat, I will add that in the description as well, just to make sure that you guys know about it, because it can be really, 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 really annoying to have the sprites visit you all the time. And with that, joining the Order of Enchantment is a really great addition to Discover University and can be really fun. Uh, I'm just excited to have a secret society in the game again. I really want to know what you guys think, so be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the secret society. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. I make Sims videos and also have an entire website dedicated to The Sims 4 and helping you guys play through it. And I would really appreciate a sub and like on this video. So thank you so much in advance and I will see you guys next time.